welcome welcome once again so we were reading the conditional sentences sentence for example if i sell this house i shall buy a new one in the first part of this sentence simple present is used if i sell this house i shall buy a new one shall buy is simple future and this is sell is simple present so here is a table we are going to use this table and construct sentences base form of the verb it's away these verbs are in base form play go start finish love and leave these are these are the verbs in base form ye sabhi verbs base form mein aaye hain play sa dusra form kaun ta hai what is the next form of the verb play played and the third form past participle that is is played play played played next go went gone start started started finish finished finished love loved loved leave lived lived these are the uh, base form of the verb kanchi kanchi is the name of a person third person singular kanchi is the third person singular therefore kanchi goes es is attached here kanchi goes to school kanchi goes to school we play we is plural first person plural we play we play football we play football adil and arjun adil and arjun adil is singular noun third person arjun is singular noun third person they are combined by and adil and arjun adil and arjun it becomes plural therefore adil and arjun finish ha hmm. ah, adil and arjun finish work on time adil and arjun finish work on time like this they is plural subject they play football they play football they go to school they live they live in colombo they live in colombo she starts the early day she starts she is third person singular therefore starts the the early day starts means starts to work sakachi je kamachi shuruat hai ki shuruat agdi lawkar karne she starts the early the day early she starts the day early so uh, from this you might have understood now what have you understood kay samajlo tumhala ata pare the lakshat gya puna ekda revise karat aahot apan सिंपल प्रेजेंट चा अभ्यास अपन कर सीम्पल प्रेजेंट वर्ब कसा बेस फॉर्म मध्य वर्ब आतो थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर सब्जेक्ट आए तो यस कि यस अटैच के यूनिवर्सल ट्रूथ संगबिच्युअल एक्शन संगइंग्स प्रवर्ब संगक्लेमेटरी वक्य आती तो फ्यूचर प्लैन अल तो ये का कंडीशन है तो कंडीशन मध्य सीम्पल प्रेजेंट का उपयोग होप दैट इट इज क्लि फॉर यू आता तुम्हारा समझ लगे very uh, you know now we are moving to understand auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs kalcha lecture madhe auxiliary verbs are reference ala hot auxiliary verbs what are auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs are nothing but helping verbs yela apan helping verbs sudha manto so here some of the examples of auxiliary verbs is verb of to be verb of to have then uh, verb of to do to be आता पैल्दा अपन वर्ब ऑफ टू बी पहा वर्ब ऑफ टू बी ची लिस्ट तुम्हारा दाखिल होती होप दैट यू अंडरस्टूड ऑल तुम सग वर्ब ऑफ टू बी महत सो फॉर एक्जाम्पल संघ कारा इज ए क्रिकेटर संघ कारा इज ए क्रिकेटर ईज इज दी वर्ब ऑफ टू बी राइट संघ कारा इज प्लेइंग नाव ईज इज वर्ब ऑफ टू बी वर्ब ऑफ टू बी है ईज प्लेइंग ईज अ क्रिकेटर अंडरस्टैंड 
सो फर्स्ट पर्सन आई एम वर्ब ऑफ टू बी आई सोबत का मतलब तो एम वी आर ही शी इट अनिता अनिल इज सो दीज आर दी वर्ब ऑफ टू बी इन प्रेजेंट टेंस प्रेजेंट टेंस मतलब वर्ब ऑफ टू बी आई आता खास एक पैसेज दिल एक डायलॉग दिल तो डायलॉग अपने रीड कराए समझ सो ए से आर यू गोइंग फॉर अवर एनुअल पिकनिक धीस संडे आर यू गोइंग फॉर अवर एनुअल पिकनिक धीस संडे बी से नो आई एम नॉट गोइंग दिस टाइम दो मै सीस्टर इज गोइंग वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग माइ मदर्स फ्रेंड्स ऑन दैट डे दे आर कमिंग फ्रॉम न्यू डेली and helping my mom with the preparations what about meenakshi is she also going he says i think she is planning to go i am sorry to hear that you aren't going you are such a great company we are going to miss you so here something uh, certain things we have to take into consideration uh, for example no i am not this is actually i am a m m i am but a is stopped by using apostrophe this is shortening short form shortening i am while speaking i don't say i am bolta me i am going to market as i am going to market so m is shorter so therefore here am the same thing is here we aren't we are we are we are we don't say generally we are we are they are so a is dropped an apostrophe is given a is dropped here and an apostrophe is given once again am a is dropped apostrophe is given okay so all this if you read you will come to know that in all these sentences um continuous present is used i am not going this time we are expecting i am helping uh is she also going is she also going right we are going to miss you so uh, what we have to notice here that different forms of the auxiliary verbs be used in the uh used above look different we use i am instead of i am we are instead of we are these forms when shorten in speech are called contracted forms yena ta apan contracted forms mantu jase shortening ata mi tumhala sangitlele that is also called contracted forms yela ta contracted forms sudha mhatla jato aren't isn't uh, amant these are certain short forms ye kai short forms ahe paha kai contracted forms dusre aplyala abhyas karayche ahet am i am i am i am not i am not listen carefully carefully i can i am i am i am not we are we are we are not we are we are we aren't you are you are you aren't he or she is he is she is she isn't isn't they are they are they aren't it is it is it isn't like this so these are the short forms and these short forms this shortening or contracted forms are used in spoken english spoken english madhe vaparla and now uh, uh, here we are going to read again a dialogue the teacher says are you not studying for your annual exam manish are you not studying for your annual exam manish manish says i am studying madam here the subject wants to emphasize that he is preparing well for the exams and therefore the full form is used for the sake of emphasis itha zor kashavar dilela hai emphasis kashavar dilela hai kon taiyari karta hai for manish manish var zor dilela hai manu itha am ha purna vapla शॉर्ट फॉर्म वाले नहीं एम अस नहीं वाल आई एम बिकॉज आई इज एक्सपेक्टेड डिअर टू बी एम्फसाइज दीज आर दिस इज हायर लेवल ग्रामर इफ यू थिंक ओवर इट यू कैन व्हेरी इजीली अंडरस्टैंड 
नाउ हैव इज आल्सो यूज्ड इन प्रेजेंट टेंस सिंपल प्रेजेंट मध्ये हैव चा उपयोग केला जातो पण आपण पाहिलेले आहे एज पर द कंस्ट्रक्शन हैव हैज एंड हैड दीज आर यूज्ड इन परफेक्ट टेंसेस परफेक्ट टेंस जे आहे प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट पास्ट परफेक्ट एंड फ्यूचर परफेक्ट मध्ये हैव एंड हैज चा उपयोग केला जातो पण बऱ्याच वेळी हैव चा उपयोग सिंपल प्रेजेंट मध्ये केला जातो बट विथ डिफरंट कनोटेशन बट विथ डिफरंट मीनिंग त्याचं मिनिंग काय हॅव इट इज हॅव इज वर्ब ऑफ पजेशन वॉट इट इज कॉल्ड वर्ब ऑफ पजेशन हे हॅव हे ऑब्जेलरी वर्ब सुद्धा आहे वर्ब ऑफ टू हॅव सुद्धा आहे आणि वर्ब ऑफ पजेशन सुद्धा आहे पजेशन म्हणजे माझ्या मालकीचं असणं फॉर एक्झाम्पल आय हॅव अ पेन आय हॅव अ पेन माझ्याकडे एक पेन आहे हॅव चा अर्थ काय होतो इथं हॅव चा अर्थ असा होतो की पेन ही पेन माझ्या मालकीची आहे सो दिस इज पजेशन हॅव शोज पजेशन हि आय हॅव अ ह्यूज टेडी बी एफ आय हॅव अ ह्यूज टेडी बी एफ सो हॅव इज द वर्ब ऑफ पजेशन माय पॅरेंट्स हॅव गिवन मी मनी टू बाय अनदर वन माय पॅरेंट्स हॅव गिवन मी मनी टू बाय अनदर वन इथं हॅव जे आहे दॅट इज ऑब्जेलिंग इथं पजेशन नाही इथं ऑब्जेलरी वर्ब आहे आणि वरच्या वाक्यामध्ये इट दिस इज वर्ब ऑफ पजेशन हॅव शोज वर्ब ऑफ पजेशन पण इथं हॅव हे ऑब्जेलरी काय आहे आणि त्यानंतर जे मेन वर्ब आहे मुख्य क्रियापद आहे त्याचं थर्ड फॉर्म इथं वापरलं आहे हॅव गिवन माय पॅरेंट्स हॅव गिवन मी मनी टू बाय अनदर वन सो हॅव इज ऑब्जेलरी वर्ब हि हॅव हे ऑब्जेलरी वर्ब आहे सो Uh, when to use have and when to use has that we are going to see in this table i have i have first person singular we have uh, first person plural you is the second person you have they is the third person but plural they have but if the person and the pronoun i mean to say is the third person he she it anita anil then has <coughs> anita has anil has so uh, these are certain uh, things we have to keep in mind ata have cha jo contacted form ahe te sudha aplyala abhyas karna avashyak hai contacted form is the in a short form i have i have i haven't any i have no i have i have i haven't any i have no we have we have we haven't we have no so these are the short forms it has it is it hasn't these are the short forms which are used in spoken english spoken english mode short short forms properly jatat so now for the sake of practice we have to complete the following sentences by using the correct form of the verb करेक्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब वापरायचा आहे आपल्याला तर असे सेंटेन्सेस परीक्षेमध्ये असतात इंग्लिश कंपल्सरी इंग्लिश जे एक्झाम असते त्या एक्झाममध्ये ग्रामर करेक्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ड असं त्या टॉपिकचं नाव आहे सो त्या टॉपिकच्या त्या टॉपिक अंतर्गत असे वाक्य परीक्षेमध्ये विचारले जातात सो एज्युकेशन डॅश इन ब्रॅकेट मेक अ नेशन ग्रेट सर व्हॉट इज इन ब्रॅकेट इन ब्रॅकेट द बेसिक फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब इज गिवन ट मध्य का बेसिक फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ड मेक मेक चे वे फॉर्म्स को मेक या वर्ब चे वॉट आर द डिफरंट फॉर्म्स एज पर देंस फॉर एक्जाम्पल सिंपल प्रेजेंट थर्ड पर्सन तो मेक्स मेक और मेक्स कंटिन्स इज मेकिंग आर मेकिंग देन हैव मेड देन हैव बीन मेकिंग पास टेन्स यू नो मेड Uh, was made then was sorry was making made was making then had been making these are the different forms if it is future then uh, shall make shall be making shall have been making or uh, shall has been making these are the different forms of the verb make then which form of the verb is suitable kon ta form of the verb suitable hai that we have to use here education dash make the verb a nation great so read the sentence 
and understand it. Kunta types of sentence are education, a great nation. Means this is this is universal truth. A characteristic hai ki universal truth hai. Shikshan jay hai. Shikshan nahi hai sa ki phayda sa hai. Eka rastala zar mahan banwai sa seel. Ta shikshan chhe garaj hai. So here simple present. The rules upon usage madhe pali le. So simple present is suitable here. Education makes a nation great. Right. Then Lata Mangeshkar dash sing very well. Lata Mangeshkar aad sudha gaate ti jivan ta hai. Mag asa se tar we have to use simple present. Lata Mangeshkar sings very well. Then Minakshi studies very hard. Minakshi ji nehmi ki savaya hai. Daroz abhyas karte hai. Continuously abhyas karte hai. Therefore, it is habitual. Minakshi studies very hard. Habitual action sangna sati. Simple present sa upyog kola kela da to. We celebrate the International Language Day on 21st February. Sir, this is celebration every year. Take washi celebration, celebrate kela da to. Ha, he language day. Therefore, simple present. We celebrate the International Language Day on 21st February. Nepal and Sri Lanka are India's neighbors. Nepal and Sri Lanka are India's neighbors. Nepal and Sri Lanka. ये बदल ना रहे थे इंडिया जी नेबर ऐसा है, शेजारी आए, नहीं मिसाल ही शेजारी रहना रहे, therefore simple present. India आ Nepal पन singular pronoun noun and Sri Lanka is another name of the country. This also noun. Noun when these two nouns are combined. By and then we have to use which auxiliary verb are Nepal and Sri Lanka are India's neighbors. Professor Hui teaches in my university. Professor Hui teaches in my university. Professor Hui is a common side. There are two Tavita Pedamati Shikoto. Therefore, simple present Malayalis celebrate Anam with great enthusiasm. Malayalis celebrate Anam with great enthusiasm. Mead walks to his school. Mead walks to his school. So these are sentences in simple present. Now here is an example. Here is another exercise. Rewrite the following sentences using simple present tense as directive. Simple present tense मधे है वाक्य तुम्हारा लिया है चेंज जैसे सूचना दी ली देते हैं प्रमाण। Rukmini plans to Rukmini plans to watch a movie this weekend। अपना इंट्रोगेटिव सेंटेंस तैयार करें सर। Rukmini plans to watch a movie this weekend। So here out of do does did, which verb of to do we can use? Rukmini plans. Rukmini is third person singular, therefore yes is attached to the verb. It means we have to start with does. Does Rukmini plan to watch a movie this weekend? Does Rukmini plan to watch a movie this weekend? Mr. Koirala handles such problems very efficiently. Interrogative Latar Karaja. Mr. Koirala handles such problems very efficiently. Uh, from which verb should we start? Verb of to do. The same handles Mr. Koirala, third person singular. So therefore, does does Mr. Koirala handle such problems very efficiently? The next sentence is: We visit our grandparents at least four times every month. We visit our grandparents at least four times every month. Then we have to use wh word. Why do we visit our grandparents? At least four times every month. Question. Why does, sorry, why do, we is the plural, why do we visit our grandparents at least four times every month? Next is, you must study for at least four hours every day to do well in the exams. WH question we have to uh, form. Why must you study? So why do you study? You can say like this. Why do you study at least four hours every day? Why do you study at least four hours every day? 
then we will get answer to do well in the exam. The negative interrogative. My sister knows how to play the guitar. My sister knows how to play the guitar. Does my sister know how to play the guitar? This is negative. Uh, sorry, doesn't doesn't my sister know how to play the guitar? This is negative interrogative. Doesn't does not doesn't my sister know how to play the guitar? So this is negative question. If you practice at home, <coughs> then Aditi always comes to class on time. Aditi always comes to class on time. Interrogative question we have to. Does Aditi always come to class on time? Does Aditi always come to class on time? Why does? Because Aditi is the third person singular. Verb takes yes or yes. Therefore, we have to use does. And does is suitable here. <clears throat> so, this was all about simple present tense. Hope that you understood. Simple present tense. So, upon detail, my detail, detail, upon the summer day. And now we are going to uh, start the present continuous tense. Present continuous tense, upon the Surukarata. You can see in the picture some uh, children are there, they are playing with a ball. A ball, I like a ball, so the third egg, uh, you can see in the picture. The present continuous tense is used to denote a continuing action in the present time. Simple present, present continuous, sorry, uh, present continuous tense, so you can see that you can see that you can see that continuously survive. It is going on. So you can see in the picture. Children are playing in the garden. Children are playing in the garden. Are playing. Children is plural subject. Therefore, are. Child as well as the child is playing in the garden. Children are playing in the garden. Arjun is still working. Arjun is still working in the field. So, in the sentences, the action is continued. Playing, working. The continue action, Sangnacity, ing. The attach character ing playing working to show that the action is going on. So by reading these sentences, we are informed that the children are still playing in the garden and Arjun is still working. Arjun is still working and children are still playing. We are studying. We you are listening to you are listening are listening to the lecture online. So this is continuous present. You have a look at this timeline. Hey, timeline imagine figure So past madhi action suruza and present madhe suruva. Action continuously suruva. Action is going on. Right. So hope that you understood it. At affirmative sentences upon power, which affirmative sentences the shasta. I am writing an essay. I am writing an essay. Therefore, the action started in the past and it is going on in the present. So, I am writing an essay. I am writing an essay. So, this is affirmative sentence. A statement. I am writing an essay. That's an interrogative question. तर एम जो आहे एम हा जो ऍक्च्युअली दी वर्ब आहे त्याला तुम्हाला पहिल्या ठिकाणी आणावं लागेल फर्स्ट पोझिशनला आणि जे व प्रोनाउन आहे ते तुम्हाला सेकंड पोझिशनला न्यावं लागेल एम आय रायटिंग एन एसे एम आय रायटिंग एन एसे आय एम रायटिंग एन एसे इज एन स्टेटमेंट अँड एम आय रायटिंग एन एसे इज अ क्वेश्चन इंटरोगेटिव फॉर एग्जांपल इज शी वॉचिंग द न्यूज ऑन टेलिव्हिजन is she watching the news on television? Yes. Is she watching the news on television? Yes. So we started with is, is the auxiliary verb. She is the subject. Watching is the main verb, the news on television. Is she watching the news on television? <sighs> now, 
uh, we are going to do this exercise. Complete the following sentences with the correct forms of the verbs given in the bracket. Mention the role played by each sentence. Pratek vakya sa kaya role hai? It's a player sentence. Okay. It's a player like the picture mein dikhe that the swimming is going on. Now expect is the verb. Expect is the verb. The teachers are expecting their students to do very well in the examination. The teachers are expecting their students to do well in the examination. This is expectation. Apeksha ke liye prediction hai. Apeksha ke liye ki parikshe madhe vyavasthit perform karti vidya. Then Dinesh practice hard for his swimming competition. How we have to construct the sentence? Dinesh is practicing. He is practicing here. Can you can see in the picture? Dinesh is practicing hard for his swimming competition. Dinesh is practicing hard for his swimming competition because the, the action is going on. The action is going on now. Therefore, Dinesh is practicing hard for his swimming competition. Right. Then we are moving to new house next week. We are moving to the house next week. Future action sign is satisfied with the simple uh, continuous present of your kill life. My father is meeting the new principal tomorrow. My father is meeting the new principal tomorrow. I am learning Spanish now. I am learning Spanish now. Mr. Hitesh is teaching English to our class. Mr. Hitesh is teaching English to our class. She is talking to her mother now. She is talking to her mother now. New opportunities are waiting. New opportunities are waiting for those who work hard. New opportunities are waiting for those who work hard. So, so these are, this is continuous present. Continuous present is used to show the action which is going on now. Uh, present continuous mother now so people now she is talking to my mother now right so this is very important and there are certain verbs which don't take ing at the end kai verbs ashe ahet te ing cha upyog ing tala lavla jat nahi for example a verbs of perceptions tala mantat verbs of perceptions Perception manje, apne je perception sa sabedna hai, naak, dola, apne touch, a smell, ye je kai sabedna hai, kacha shi sambandit je kriya pada hai, tana mantat verbs of perception, verbs of verbs of perception, tar kacha sambandit je kai verbs hai, tana ing form, apan vaprat nahi, ing attach karat nahi, progressive. A continuous present mother, a continuous tense for the upper opera. For example, think, I think, as Muntopan, I think. You shouldn't say, I am thinking. I am thinking is not right construction. The exception, I am knowing, no, I know. I know, as Munala I am knowing is the not right construction. I am wanting. This is also wrong. I am wanting. I want. I am hating is wrong. I hate. I am believing is wrong. I believe. I mean, I suppose, I contain, I understand, I remember, I agree, I hear, I see, I smell, I wish, I desire, I love, I hate, I see, it seems, it seems like this. So <clears throat> these are the verbs of perception. The verbs of per 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 perceptions don't say, don't take ing form. Uh, just now I told you. Mm. Kai kai verbs of perception and verbs of action will be ah. find, search is verb of action. Find is verb of perception. Hear is verb of perception. Listen is the verb of action. Listen. So verb of action can take ing. Searching, listening, sniffing, looking, eating. So 
these verbs of action can be used in i n you know in progressive tense we can attach i n g to it but verbs of per perception we we don't use it in i n g form find hear smell see taste search searching listen listening sniff sniffing look looking eat eating so these are the verbs of action for verbs of verbs of perfect perceptions so this is some extra knowledge for us and five minutes are left past minute are left fakt past minute at apnala sampaycha itha apnala comparative study karaychi we are going to study make a comparative study we are going to make a comparative study simple present and continuous present simple present and continuous present a comparison apan karnar aahot the simple present and present continuous tense denote a specific time of action each tense gives us specific information pertaining to the time of action of a verb therefore these tenses cannot be used interchangeably apan simple present and present continuous we cannot interchange it kevha continuous present vaparaycha kevha present vaparaycha that we have to bear in mind so we are going to read these sentences carefully george studies ha very hard george studies very hard this is simple present he is studying now हे बघा जॉर्ज इथे बसलेला आहे अभ्यास करत आहे ऍट प्रेझेंट ही इज स्टडिंग ही इज स्टडिंग नाव हे सांगण्यासाठी सिंपल प्रेझेंट वापर प्रेझेंट कंटिन्यूस चा उपयोग आपण करू शकतो बट जॉर्ज ची ही सवयच आहे नेहमीच तो अभ्यास व्यवस्थित करतो चांगला करतो हार्ड अभ्यास करतो कठीण परिश्रम करतो हे सांगण्यासाठी सिंपल प्रेझेंट चा उपयोग आपल्याला करावा लागेल जॉर्ज स्टडी इज व्हेरी हार्ड ही इज स्टडिंग नाव सो द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दीज टू सेंटेन्सेस इज लाईक दिस the first sentence is in the simple present tense tells us about george studying habits the second sentence in the present continuous tense gives us information about an action being performed by george right now since these two different tenses express two different timelines of action they cannot be used interchangeably hope that you understood it uh, we can see here uh, some uh, blank spaces there we have to fill it up i can't see ritesh everywhere i can't see ritesh anywhere the principal wants to see him isn't he coming for the football match is he out of town town is he out of town i can't see ritesh anywhere the principal wants to see him by the simple present isn't he coming isn't he coming continuous present for the football match is he out of town no he is not coming for the match today no he is not coming for the match today he is preparing for the final examinations ritesh usually work usually work very hard but for this particular examination he is working harder for this particular examination he is working harder do you want to do you want me to inform him that the principal wishes to see him in this way if you read well understand well you can very easily construct good sentences right correct sentences by using appropriate tense we have studied a uh, simple present and present continuous hope that you all understood these two tenses i stop here